Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So a few days ago when I was taking my scooter back home, I noticed that all of the traffic lights had stopped working and it was a little bit chaotic and there was even some police out arranging the traffic. And when I got home, I realized that it was not only the traffic lights, but actually a big part of Taiwan was without electricity. A few days later the power went out again and this was actually the first two power outages since I came to Taiwan almost five years ago and since my background is in energy engineering I wanted to find out why this was happening. Every moment the electricity used in Taiwan must be the same as the electricity produced and this means that if you use the air conditioning, if you start the air conditioning in your apartment there will be a power plant somewhere in Taiwan that has to produce a little bit more electricity. In Taiwan almost half of the electricity is produced using coal and it was a coal power plant in Kaohsiung that had stopped working which led to more than 4 million homes in Taiwan losing electricity. The power plant that shut down was Xingda power plant in Kaohsiung and it's actually Taiwan's oldest power plant because it's 37 years old and it's also the second biggest power plant in Taiwan. It also has a negative impact on the air quality of Kaohsiung. It also produces a very big amount of carbon dioxide which contributes to global warming. However, However, to my understanding, it was not the coal power plant itself that had an issue, but rather a stub station, which is a part of the grid, and because of this problem, the whole coal power plant had to shut down. The total amount of electricity used in Taiwan when the Xingda power plant shut down was about 37 gigawatt. And this is, you know, the total amount of all of the AC units in all of the houses, all of the TV, everyone charging their phone or computer. Of course, also the industry is using a lot, a lot of electricity. And if you add all of that up at that moment it was about 37 gigawatt. The Xingda power plant was supplying 4.3 gigawatt and this is actually quite a big piece. This is about 11% and when that shut down you know that 11% of production of electricity went away then they need to start something else but the problem is because Taiwan this year you know has a very big drought so there was not so much hydropower to to use instead and also because Taiwan is using less and less nuclear power so there was not so much production capacity extra in the grid you know so when those 11 percent went away then it resulted also in a big blackout that affected almost all of Taiwan. Is one solution to have more nuclear power in the system? Well, of course, if there would have been more nuclear power plants running, then if this Xingda uh, power plant, you know, stop working, then we can use that nuclear power plant instead. But I think, you know, especially the example of Japan and the Fukushima accident for about 10 years ago, I think a country that has so much earthquake and so much typhoon and can also have a tsunami like this, I think is not really a very safe place to build nuclear power. And I think Japan is still paying a lot for the consequences of the Fukushima accident. In my opinion, I agree with the Taiwanese government that it's a good idea to try to decommission nuclear power plants as much as we can. Taiwan is currently trying actually to reduce the dependency on coal by making more renewable energy. And the goal is to have 20% of renewable energy by 2025. So why doesn't Taiwan make you know 50% renewable energy or 70% renewable energy? Well, the first reason is because electricity needs to be used when it's produced. If you have a very, very sunny day and you have a solar power plant and you make a lot of electricity in the day because it's so sunny, but then you cannot use that electricity in the evening. Evening. I mean, of course, you can save the electricity, but then you need a lot of batteries and batteries is still very, very expensive. The second reason is because Taiwan is an island, so if you produce too much electricity, the wind is blowing one day a lot and all of the wind turbines are spinning and you make so much electricity, but since Taiwan is not connected to any other grid, then it's impossible for Taiwan to sell this extra electricity because Taiwan, the electricity grid of Taiwan is not connected to any other country. Taiwan is also currently making a lot of natural gas power plants and this is actually a pretty good combination together with renewable energy even though natural gas itself is not so good for the environment. If the wind stop blowing you know and your wind power plant of course stop producing electricity the natural gas is a very fast way to start up and make electricity and then when the wind start blowing again the natural gas can turn off so it's a very actually good combination together with renewable energy. Of course what happened in the Xingda power plant is very unfortunate and it affected a very 
very very big part of Taiwan but I also want to say that this kind of questions you know about power plant and power system it takes a very very long time the decision we make now like if Taiwan makes more nuclear or more coal you know this is, is deciding how the power system is going to look in 2060 like 40 years later so I'm very happy at least that Taiwan is trying to make more and more renewable energy and I know even by 2025 there will still be 80% of fossil fuel in the system but considering that Taiwan is an island and considering the battery still is very expensive I think it will be very hard for Taiwan to make more than 20% or maybe 30% of renewable energy but still I hope that we can push so much as we can for renewable energy and uh, yeah so in today's video I wanted to talk about the Xingda power plant the blackout and also a little bit about the energy system in Taiwan if you have any questions about this or any comments if you agree with me or disagree with me so I really would like to hear so please leave a comment below thank you so much for watching hope we don't get any more blackouts and I will see you all next time bye bye